program director with the dental hygiene program with the Community College of Baltimore County. We have our clinic uh, based on the Dundalk campus. We actually have it set up as a dental practice. If you would like to get a teeth cleaning, get your mouth checked out, anybody, everybody, it's mostly for the community to try to help them receive the care that they need. Low fees, you don't need to have insurance. We are supervised by licensed dentists, hygienists, so you know, those are all our teachers. Those, there's tons of them around. We were fortunate to receive a grant through Blue Cross Blue Shield Care First that is allowing us to put together a program for pregnant women and infant care oral health needs. Women who are anticipating pregnancy to come along or women who are currently pregnant or who have recently delivered an infant can come to our clinic and actually have all their hygiene services provided at no cost to them. It's very, very important that a pregnant woman stays on top of her oral home care. What I'm currently doing now is I still do brush my teeth twice a day. I floss. I avoid sweets now that I'm pregnant. When I was pregnant, I just, I increased my flossing, my rinsing, uh, my brushing. I also went to the dentist. I tried to go every two months. I really brush very well because I don't want to have decay. I know I can pass on the infection to my baby. There's this great link, unfortunately, between the mother's oral cavity and how she cares for it and the outcome of her pregnancy. They're more susceptible to getting gingivitis and if they're not staying on top of their oral care at home, they can get severe gingivitis which can lead to periodontitis which is basically an infection in the mouth that won't go away and it can get very, very aggressive, you know, losing teeth, teeth starting to move. A lot of times women can have low birth weight babies or preterm pre because what's in your mouth can go down to your baby, you know, what you eat what is what the baby eats. An infection from the mother could be passed to the fetus and subsequently cause the pregnancy to be terminated. A lot of people, I guess, don't realize that when you become pregnant, you are more susceptible to diseases, just like the elderly and the infants, you are more susceptible. As a pregnant woman, you may notice that your mouth is going through some changes. During my pregnancy, I have noticed that I tend to have bleeding gums when I brush my teeth. My hygienist said it's not because I'm having gingivitis, it's because of the hormones in my body. You want to try to limit the amount of bleeding and one way to do that is to be sure you're removing all the plaque off your teeth. During my pregnancy, I did have complications. I was diagnosed with hyperemesis, which means that I threw up on a regular basis, probably three or four times a day. Another common mistake for pregnant women would be to brush their teeth right after morning sickness, and they actually want to rinse their mouth out with water and baking soda solution that will neutralize the acids in the mouth. The acids in the mouth cause erosion to the enamel of our teeth. When you actually throw up, you have all this acid in your mouth, and that acid is laying all over your teeth, and you don't want to brush it and actually distribute it even further on your teeth. You want to rinse out to get the acid out of there. Oral care with an infant is a little bit different, mostly because they don't have teeth yet. Just because they don't have teeth doesn't mean there's not bacteria in there. And it's very, very important just to even take a wet gauze, a, a clean, wet washcloth, just swipe the mouth, get the bacteria out. And you know, especially since most adults tend to try to clean stuff with their mouth and then put it in for the baby's mouth, you're transferring that bacteria. So you really want to just get in there and make sure you keep everything at bay. And not just that, but to look, because a lot of times, you know, infants will have thrush, they'll have a bacteria infection. If you're not in there looking, you're not going to see it. The old wise tale that used to be, oh, they don't have any teeth. Why do I need to clean their mouth? Well, actually, you do want to clean their mouth because they have what? Gum tissues. And on the gum tissues, the plaque will lay, the bacteria will lay. So you want to remove that because eventually, yes, teeth will come in and you want to be sure that they have a clean mouth. I thought that you started brushing their teeth when their teeth came out, you know? but it is so much more beneficial to start taking care of their health even before the first tooth comes out. His teeth haven't come out yet, but you know, I, I know that he is starting to drool and he's starting to chew on his fingers, so I feel like they're gonna come out any day now, so I'm, I wanna make sure that everything is you know, clean you know, for when they come out. You can take a piece of gauze, a little square gauze, 
moisten it with a little bit of water, wrap it around your finger, and just move it around the mouth. The other thing is there are lots of different products out there that you can use. One of the things we have is a little finger cot. It's rubber and it has little soft bristles on it and you can take that and you can rub it in the baby's mouth. I'm a mother of four, now going five. I have so many learnings from my first child to the fourth. What I learned from this is that it's better to give a baby a pacifier than let the baby suck on his or, or her thumb because it's very, very difficult to wean a child from thumb sucking because she always has her thumb with her. At night, before he goes to sleep, I don't let him fall asleep with a bottle. One of the worst things that you can do for your infant child is to give them a milk, a juice, or something in their bottle and put them to bed. The solution is basically laying in their mouth, and once they do start to have teeth, it's laying all over their teeth, and then they end up with tooth decay. And there is a, something out there known as baby bottle syndrome, where every tooth in the baby's mouth has decay in it because the parents put the baby to bed with a bottle. Find some other means, maybe some water, a pacifier, but don't give them anything that is sweet or a milk product when they go to bed. You wanna take your infant with you the next time you go to the dental office. Have the dentist, have the dental hygienist take a look in there as well to be sure things are developing fine. You don't need to wait till that first tooth comes in to take them to the dentist. You wanna take them in when you go in. They'll get comfortable with the environment and then when it is time for us to actually go into their mouth, they will be comfortable and not fussy.